Hello boys and girls, uh, back with another Math Homework Code video. So we're still constructing arguments. That's what this is about, constructing arguments. Uh, Mega Groceries opens in two days. Construct math arguments to solve each problem and to support your work. So anytime you have an argument, you first read the problem. Then you must write a full sentence. So I kind of set this up for you. And then you're going to use either you're going to compare the numbers, you're going to round, or you might uh, show how one number is bigger than the other to prove your point. You can use charts, you can use symbols, numbers. So let's check these out. I underlined some information, so you might want to pause this and uh, allow yourself to write some of this down so you're at least set up. And let's go through it. So the owner of Mega, number one, the owner of Mega Groceries asks his assistants to order 12,625 shopping bags. Kyle writes the number as 12,652. Ramona writes the number as 12,625. Which assistant writes the number incorrectly? Oh, incorrectly. So let's fix that. So incorrectly incorrectly so that's the number that's wrong so which number is incorrect well I know that so you have to pick the name of the person it's either Ramona or it's Kyle who wrote the number incorrectly so you fill that in in this space here this little box and I know that I know this because so you have to give a reason how you know the number is written incorrectly so you, what you want to do is change the word form to number form, and then you'll know who wrote it incorrectly. So did Kyle write it incorrectly, or did Ramona? And how do you know? What place would tell you would tell you that this number has five digits? So was it the ones place that was written incorrectly? This the, the tens place? Were two places written incorrectly? The hundreds place? Which number was written incorrectly? Number two, Mega Groceries puts money in its cash registers to prepare for opening day. Kyle counts $24,250 in register A. He counts $24,517 in register B. Kyle says there is more money in register A. Is he correct? So you're comparing the two numbers, all right? Is so he's saying that there's more money in A than in B. And another thing I would do is also change word form to standard. So I would change these numbers into number form so you can see it. And then you'll know if he's right. So either in this box you're going to say Kyle is correct. Or you're going to say Kyle is incorrect. So those are kind of your two choices. Is he incorrect? Or is he correct? You have to pick one. So don't write both. Pick one. How do you know this? I know this because... And you're going to compare the two numbers with either the less than, greater than, or equal symbol. So, does there is there more money in register A? Is he correct? Well, you have to look and find out. All right, number three. Mega Groceries orders 6,420 eggs and 6,513 gallons of milk to be delivered for the first three months the store will be open. Compare the number of eggs and the number of gallons of milk ordered. So you would say if I compare the number of eggs with the gallons of milk it will show blank and blank. So what goes in the blank? Well the two numbers. What goes in the circle? Well you're either going to write the greater than, less than, or equal to symbol. So the egg number can go here and the gallons of milk can go here 
and the numbers for each and then compare them. Or you can use a chart below. Oh, and I know this because you can use a chart below to show which, how do you know which one's bigger? So use place value as proof. Is the thousands number different than the other? Is the hundreds number different? Which, the tens, the ones, which highest place value tells you which one is bigger? And you always start with the biggest place when you compare numbers. All right, boys and girls, uh, you can watch this video as often as you like. Please use it, and I'll see you next time. Bye now.